on to section G. Do you want to do yours first, Mr. McIntyre? I'd like to make a motion for those hourly employees that do not have the opportunity to work during this emergency period. Uh, I would like to make a motion to pay a two weeks full pay for all you know, said hourly employees. Hey, Rick, hold on a second. Yeah. Do we have to make a motion to put this Actually, on the yeah, agenda? Yeah, mm -hmm. as well, yeah. We have to, I make a motion to put this on the agenda to vote for tonight. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Second. Should I read it now and then read it again when we vote? No, on we have to vote on that. We have to vote to we put, have to put vote it on the agenda. On. So I read it first? first comments from the audience. It, it seems nonsensical. Oh, absolutely. I didn't write the rules. <laughs> right. That's why we have a lot of lawyers trying to embarrass Put something on the agenda, decide whether to put it on the agenda or not, and not be told what it is. I think it would be proper yeah, to We've never done it that way it. before. We've always read it. Just read it. read it. All right, just read it. So for those, I apologize. I'm reading uh, somebody else's handwriting. <laughs> I may struggle through some of this. But for the, those hourly employees that do not have the opportunity currently to work during the emergency shutdown period of two weeks, I move that we pay a full two weeks pay for all said hourly employees. At, at that time, which would be the 30th, all said employees would then be eligible for unemployment uh, compensation in accordance with the recommendations from the state. I just want to be through. He said, are you through? Is that all of it? Uh, yeah. Basically. And I just want to add one tiny thing that are not called back by uh, mm -hmm. the administration because that's up to us. I want to make sure it's clear. We'll decide who comes back and who doesn't. Right, I, I, I think it's, that may be, maybe that's covered with the phrase, you know, for those hourly employees that do not have the opportunity to work. Obviously, if we do decide to call them back, they would they have, have the opportunity. opportunity. With that discussion, I'm okay. Yeah. Okay, we have a and, motion and any, to... Any hourly employee that is impacted by this will be informed by the administration, uh, you know, and, and how to proceed and how this is going to go. And you would like to add that to the agenda this evening? Correct. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Is there any discussion before we vote to add to the agenda? No. All those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed? None. Okay. So it's now on the agenda. Now I need a motion to uh, approve. Motion. I make the motion. Are there any comments from the audience first? I want to get our motion and our second, and then we'll do comments. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Now I'll open it up for comments. Yeah, now I think what might be good to delay this for about five minutes so that the folks at home could send a voicemail or a text message in. So can we just jump to the rest of the agenda? Well, I think that if, we, if there's any discussion on this, I think we can have that while we're waiting. Uh, is there questions. any discussion amongst uh, I mean, maybe board just members? For, for clarification's sake, do, do we want to detail like the, the, the list of you know, the no. departments, anything like that? No. That's all going to be handled by administration. I think we should let Correct. HR handle that. Correct. I don't want to say something wrong because mm -hmm. we're not HR. Are there any other questions or comments while we're waiting for public input? Is there any public input? No. Nothing yet? Mr. Gallagher, do you have any input? No. Mr. Clary? No. Mr. Gottman? Uh, no. Any comments, Dr. Rothy? Okay. Are you comfortable if I proceed yet, sir? Did we get any calls or text messages? Anything from the public yet? I have none. Very good. Let's proceed. Okay. Do you want to read it one more time? Do you think you have it clear? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, the motion is made for those hourly employees that do not have the opportunity to work during this emergency shutdown period of two weeks, that for those two weeks, the district will be giving them full pay. At that time, they will qualify and be directed to apply for unemployment, and also at that time, 
well, I guess that's a con more than just a resolution, but uh, basically at that time they would be qualifying for, for unemployment, which would be, I believe, uh, the 30th of this month. Okay. Are you ready with all that, Bonnie? <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're going to have yeah. it. Let's do roll call on this, please. Okay. Mr. Ritter. Aye. Mrs. Warney. Aye. Mr. Williams. Aye. Mr. Clary. Aye. Mr. Rucci. Aye. Mr. Delaney. Aye. Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Gottman. Aye. Mr. McIntyre. Aye. Okay, motion carries. All right.